What's happening, everybody? Y'all know what time it is. It's time for a death battle! It is time for Master Motherfucking Roshi versus Motherfucking Jirai. <laughs> I was I was reading the uh, Samuel L. Jackson tweet <laughs> like what well, a few months ago. <laughs> he said motherfucker like ten times. It was, it, it's stuck in my head now. But anyway, the death battle for Master Roshi versus Jirai, Dragon Ball versus Naruto. Now I know Jirai, cause I didn't watch uh, Naruto Shippuden. Is that how you said it? I know I watched two episodes, the first two episodes, and then I, I just I was watching something else, another TV show that I wanted to watch, so I just never went back to it. And um, but I've seen Naruto, that series, like a couple times all the way through. Might have been three times all the way through. And uh, like Dragon Ball Z, shit, that was my childhood. I watched that for fucking forever. I've I've seen Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Well, I've seen Dragon Ball Z at least just on TV when I was a kid. When they when they showed all the way up to, uh, well, I remember they showed all the way up to uh, Frieza Saga. Well, just when you know when Frieza died. Spoilers. <laughs> and then they redid it again, and then they showed the reruns all the way up to Frieza, and then that's when Cell Saga came out. Over here, and then they then they showed the cell saga. That's not well. They, I'm sorry, they showed the the android saga. I guess you. I mean, because I always kind of counted cell and android saga the same saga because cell was an android. So I mean, he was kind of like a he's only like a biological android more so than than the other people who were like humans who were put. But well, they weren't even androids, they were cyborgs. They were, they were humans before who had cybernetic enhancements. But not getting that thing again. But uh, but yeah, I watched and I watched the original Dragon Ball series twice. I only seen that twice. Like all the way through. And when I was much younger, I haven't seen that all the way through. And maybe since I was 19, 18 maybe. And uh... And I've never really sat down and watched Dragon Ball Super. I've seen some of the episodes, but I just I haven't watched that. I always I did jump and skip through. But anyway, now I'm getting all that. Let's just get into this dead battle. I just love saying it all the time. Sometimes I just I just wake up but like it's time for a dead battle. <laughs> Everybody has but shut the fuck up. That's where it needs to be. Oh shit. Alright. All right. Here we go. Screw attack, bitches. The finest warriors are never developed on their own. Well, some are simply molded by their enemies. Ah, uh -huh. right. the wisdom of a master. I was I go like when I was a kid I saw how big he got I was like what the fuck Cause I saw Dragon Ball Z before I saw Dragon Ball didn't didn't Jiraiya die in Shibuden Shibuden I could have sworn I read something where he deposed it died or something Goku is without a doubt one of the greatest martial arts champions of all time. Yes. He's a fucking beast. I don't know, maybe it's the hair thing that kind of just like start throwing me up. I'm just like, oh, not his hair. Like, I wish they just kind of just stay with the Super Saiyan thing. And then he just got stronger. But they, oh, he has to have another fucking transformation that makes sense. Like, doubles his power again. Like, I was like, oh my god. Maybe maybe that's what it was. I don't know. That I never really showed that much interest in watching. He's three hundred and fifty four years old. I don't remember I don't remember really saying his age. 
living beings possess. I watch that sometimes. I watch like Shaolin training on YouTube and shit like that. Just old websites to watch when I was younger. He's immortal. Like the guy's immortal. Like. It wasn't long until created his own martial arts style. Turtle school or Kame style includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony drunken style. Oh, yeah, I remember that. As, oh, he's the best opportunity to get wasted. Drunken master. Milk of a mountain, plowing a field with bare hands, working construction with simple tools, and being chased by both sharks and bees. See, that's what I like, this this always reminded me of like because I used to watch old B martial art movies and the type of training that they did would kill a normal person. So I always loved it. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can't fly. Yeah. I forgot that he can't fly. Despite most of the students learning it at some point, flight is actually a technique developed by his rivals, the crane school. Apparently, Rochi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill, even after centuries of experience. How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but the mortal phoenix. phoenix he accidentally killed, or the mysterious paradise earth. Paradise. He's, He's eating a heart shaped earth. <laughs> yeah, I'm just impressed he can still get it up for the girls after all that time. We'll mistake that. Well, I mean, yes, I guess medically speaking, it is quite pressing. It'd be funny, like, Master Rose should be in lay all the time. Like, you see when the girls first meet him, and then they, like, they, they despise him. And then later, then like in his bed. Developing one revolutionary technique. Me, me, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> gotcha. I ain't gonna lie. We was kids. We used to do that shit all the time. Probably did it. Probably too old. We was too old when we kept doing. <laughs> Feet tall. With this in mind, we can find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly four gigatons of TNT. But that's small stuff compared to the time he obliterated the entire moon in about five seconds. Wait a minute, he blew the moon up too? What, like ten? I know Piccolo blew it up. I don't remember that. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's, I haven't seen... I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z in about eight years, and I haven't seen Dragon Ball even before it, way before it. Like I said, last like it's been a very long time. That gun looks like a British stand, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of nearly 1,200 feet per second. That means Roshi would have to react to the first bullet within five milliseconds. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. The maximum distance between any given shot looks to be about three feet, which means he would have to... I always love that humans could just train in order to catch them all. and just be... Uh, my hands can move that fast. I'd finally stop getting married. Wow. This wow, Boomstick. far from his limit. But Roshi's true talent is ensuring his students grow further and further than himself every day. Sadly, Roshi's frailty of age means his body can't always express just how powerful he really is. So then he goes to super mode. Too much key energy can cause all sorts of problems, like when his master Pistachio died using the evil containment wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters on Earth. He's tough enough to take down dozens of Frieza's soldiers and survived a beatdown from an oh, this super, yeah, I haven't seen that. He even took a barrage of death I was wondering because his looks newer, so it has to be super. Many, many years ago. And in the Dragon Ball Super manga, Roshi is shown to be so collected in battle, his movements sort of emulate those of Ultra Instinct. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but <laughs> it does go to show how far Roshi's training can take him. And it's safe to say that this old, perverted, but genius of a man. Hey, he he he's fine. He can be perverted. He's old. Kamehameha, motherfuckers! <laughs> Among the ninja of the hidden leaf village, few are quite as 
impressive as Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, I know that's crazy. Yeah, because he was. But Jiraiya was a fuck up too. If the on the moon and become president of Hidden Valley Ranch, Naruto would become the Hidden Leaf's greatest Hidden Valley Ranch. He's a president of of a salad dress company. Legendary Sani, Jiraiya the Gallant. Gallant, huh? Hey, Wiz, why did the most badass old dudes always turn out to be weird perfs? Uh, well, don't let his crude demeanor fool. Oh, don't worry about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. Nothing surprises me anymore. What, what the, the fuck? Take <laughs> the fuck. You got one leg. Um. Anyway, Jiraiya originally learned the Shinobi way from the third Hokage, who taught him how to use his chakra to do ninja magic. Similar to Ki, chakra is a form of. Life yeah, wasn't uh, Orochimaru and them together? In simplistic terms gates within the human body which can be embraced to achieve enlightenment however in the world of naruto chakra is used to perform amazing ninja techniques called jutsus Gesundheit. thank you like most ninja jiraiya learned about four types of jutsus taijutsu or hand-to-hand -hand combat ninjutsu harnessing chakra as elemental weapons and tools genjutsu which covers illusion and mental manipulation and senjutsu a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension yeah they just made naruto the super badass Rasenga! Oh my god. I watched Naruto. I, wa I watched it much like I was an adult when I first watched Naruto. I can remember. Yeah. Because I remember he's come on um, Toonami, I think it was. But I didn't really watch it on there. Would be perfect for stealth or assassination. I thought it was stupid. He actually developed it specifically for uh, at least in Chicago research? it came on Toonami. I don't know if it came on Toonami everywhere. The Dragon Ball Z came on Toonami. Clearly Jiraiya sometimes took his tinkering a bit too far. On one such occasion, he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. Is you sure Jutsu isn't just like another name for Craig? After befriending the toads, Jiraiya trained under the sage Fukasaka. Oh yeah, I, 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 I don't think I said it. I'm going with Jiraiya on this. And flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered a pact with the toads, learning their ways and summoning them to the field of battle. I don't know why. I mean, I don't really like either one more than the other, but I kind of just, for some reason, Jiraiya, I just feel like he's going to win. I don't know. Transform them into toads for interrogation, or even call a gigantic amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest group you've ever seen, Gamma Bunta. I am the wise and powerful Lord Gamma Bunta, the chief toad, and you're an idiot. The shut up! Ha <laughs> ha, Bunta, you crush the old toad. And through Fukasaku's teachings, Jiraiya perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new mighty <laughs> form called Sage Mode. Well, it takes a long time to get into. Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable martial art frog. Oh, okay, because I was like, I don't remember this in Naruto from Sage Mode. Which sounds say so why don't we just call it your jutsu? Because if you get cut, your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high five, leaving your physical body totally open to a swift. Oh, he just stabs him. Super resendient. Oh, big. <laughs> which, according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Wiz, he's way more than just a mountain smasher. Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the fastest ninja <laughs> around, like Kakashi and Itachi, some of which are fast enough to intercept lightning. The leader of a lightning bolt moves around 220,000. Is that Kakashi? Like I don't remember. Now I get why ninja are so awesome. Who needs guns when you're more than a hundred times faster than bullets? Especially could they in the modern age, aren't they? Because I remember watching a Naruto movie and he was like walking around skyscrapers and shit. I was like, wait a minute, this takes place in modern time? Hailed by the honorable title of Sonny. And he's a gutsy one. Like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band, Pain. Before they tore his arm off, crushed his throat and impaled him five times. But even while suffering excruciating agony. Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil. 
paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know, I guess he was a pretty gallant guy after all. As you can see, you failed! Uriah the Toad Sage oh was my God. a woman's charm. Rare beauties fall for me! You, when you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness! Oh my God. Yeah, they, yeah, they do, huh? He did hang out with like a lot of chicks. <laughs> They're probably gonna fight each other. The wow. <laughs> Why you gotta come in being an asshole, um, Roshi? Yeah. Oh yeah, didn't he? Did he say he write like basically like fan fiction <laughs> some shit in Naruto? Oh, I thought he was about to do a command mail already, because his hands like form like he's about to shoot an energy blast. The heck is this? You're stuck now, Baldy. Uh oh, don't talk about it here. Sonic about to run by some shit. He might, yeah, he might. I, Master Roshi might actually be a better hand to hand combat than he is. Maybe. Mm. He ain't even went Hulk yet. Master Roshi. I was like, if I was them, I would just start out with my most powerful attack right off the bat. Because that's going to tell me whether I'm a witness or not, if you can take it. Now, you see Goku, he won't do a damn Kamehameha for like 30 episodes after when the fight starts. Still got a he's what the fuck? Maybe I missed that when I was talking. Uh, well, he still got what's the name to do? You have no idea. I've been back on the beach the whole time. Uh oh. -uh. I think this might be it. He destroyed a mountain. Oh, is he running through that shit? Oh shit! No, he moved. He did a Goku when he did it to uh, Cell. Yeah, he had too many tricks. Oh, he's done. I can't believe you fell for that. Let's end this. What the fuck? Are you? Master Roshi beat him. <laughs> oh well. I don't even know what the fuck happened. It, like he just powered through it and they just like oh, oh I, but there's no question that Roshi's sheer might Oh yeah, he was much stronger than him. And brute strength. 
Yeah, that's true. The speed comparison wasn't quite so clear cut, though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. But he did hold his own in the Tournament of Power against Planet and Galaxy Busters. Also, in Goku's training right after Korin's, he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training didn't stop after chasing the kitty around, <laughs> and neither did his kitty chasing. So, scale to go that, wait a minute. Progress, I don't remember that. Did I not see all the? Maybe I didn't watch all Dragon Ball. I don't remember. Maybe that was a flashback. I just didn't see or wasn't an American version. Maybe. Yeah, he is older. He is. Wait a minute, did they say that? I don't remember that. I'm saying that he just basically looked through illusions. Oh, it's light. Oh, it's faster than light. It's crazy. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone yeah, that's like true. Roshi. Roshi was simply faster, stronger, and had way more experience. And that's why Jiraiya croaked when Roshi beat him to the punch. The winner is Master Roshi. Some told me to go with Master Roshi, but I, I just had a, I had a, I just had a feeling that uh, Jiraiya might win. Next time we'll do that. What the fuck is that? Those oh I was like are those parademons? Oh dark side versus Thanos. Oh my god, here come the fucking fanboys. Oh my god, here they come in droves of uh the dark side will win. Oh, no, Thanos will win because he has the infinity gauntlet. And blah, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> God, I hate. I hate fans. Like, they just ruin everything. Like, with these stupid arguments. But anyway. That was fucking. That was actually really awesome. I almost really. I almost kind of wanted it to be uh, 3D. But that's fine. They 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 uh they pixelated art is uh is usually I want to say it it, it it the movement looks smoother. I don't know. It it, it looks like sometimes they get three D art does look kind of a little stiff when they're moving. Sometimes sometimes it's just like the Wolverine versus uh Raiden. I'm mean, not Raiden. Uh, Raiden. That was actually pretty smooth. And well, the Terminator versus Ripple, they was supposed to be kind of like robotic movement so we can't read that but uh what was another one that was really it seemed kind of stiff to me and then they'd use that 3d it was a hulk and it was like in moments the hulk versus doomsday was stiff and then it ran then they movements were a lot smoother it was it was kind of like off and on they would go back kind of back and forth on maybe it had different people doing animation on time at different points in the process but Damn, I was gonna go with Master. I was gonna go with Master Roshi mainly because I know more about. I've watched more of Master Roshi than I have Jiraiya. But I was like, I, I just I, something in me was like they probably gonna have Jiraiya win because the all oh, this the tricks he had, and I remember the toad that he can call and stuff. And I was like, but he got rid of that quick. I like I was talking, so I didn't see that he basically had a. Um, he had a ghost trap or some shit, whatever that was, that he trapped him. <laughs> like I didn't even, I, I was talking, so I didn't, I missed that. But uh, I didn't, I don't even remember that from the show. But unless, like I said, if that's in Super, I haven't seen it, so I, I don't know. But uh, that was really good. I liked, I liked that, and it's very interesting. I didn't, I, I didn't even thought of. Uh, well, I guess if I had to think about, I probably thought of, but I didn't think of. Like Master Roshi versus Jiraiya. I did when I first saw Naruto for the first time, and I saw Jiraiya. It did remind me of Master Roshi, like because he's an older guy. Even though you couldn't really tell he was up beside his white hair, but I was like, so he has white hair. Like Dante has white hair. He's not old, but I guess he was supposed to be old. All of them were supposed to be old, but they didn't look old. Like uh, 
uh, what's her name? Lady Tsunade? Is that her name? The the uh, the other the the chick that was kind of they grew was because Ultra it was o- Ultra. <sighs> nah, I can't say his name. Ultra. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> it was Jariah. O- Ultra. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> I can't say it. It's like I can't form it in my mouth. <laughs> and I want to say Lady Sunada. I think that's her name. And I, but in my head, I want to say Ricky Maru for some reason. <laughs> but it's Ochi, o- Ochi Maru. I, I think I said it right. There. I, I, oh, fuck. Uh, it was. It was like them. It was the them three. Then you know you had. It was kind of the same as like Naruto and. Uh, Sasuke and uh, why am I forgetting the girl's name? I don't know, I completely forgot her name. Uh, Ayame? No, Ayame is from fucking Tech, uh, not Tech, and uh, fucking uh, Tenchu. <laughs> uh, fuck, all these now the ninjas are running together on me. I don't, <laughs> they're all mixed up. But anyway, this, this video's going on too long. That was actually really good. I really like. I really enjoyed that. Uh, well, who did y'all think was going to win? You think Master Roshi was going to win, or you think Jiraiya was going to win? Let me know down in the comments down below. And uh, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all, if y'all would hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.